Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. You guys, I had the most fun requests. I had a couple of you guys asking me if I could put together the compilation of Look at Me, as well as Smug. So <laughs> I love that idea. I thought, sure, I appreciate your qu requests so much and I'm happy to do things like that. So anytime you have a request like this, please leave in the comments. I welcome it. But um, I just want to say a huge thank you because I know a lot of you went and watched the individual videos. So if you're watching this too, that's amazing. If you're new here and you're like, what is all this? Well, I'll tell you. I do compilations of, look at me. You know those moments when Megan has to find the camera and also when she's smug. So take a look. You'll see the compilations. They're sewn together. So you, I tried to leave in me introducing each subsection. So you'll hear it. It'll switch from like, Look at me to the, yep, I have a section of this, I got a pee situation. So anyway, I did put her word salad at the end because I know some of you say, I cannot listen to her voice. I get it. Don't worry about it. I put it at the very end. So that way, if you're one of those people, just click off. No big deal. But uh, otherwise, hang in with me. Watch the whole thing. If you make it all the way to the end, let me know because that's huge. I hope you enjoy this very much and thanks for being here. Oh, also, I heard a lot of you loud and clear when you said you want Drunk Goose Club. <laughs> I can't say that without laughing. Our group is now the Drunk Goose Club, in case you missed uh, yesterday's videos, but or I don't know what day this is going up, but I put them up on Saturday. Um, Drunk Goose Club. So if you missed that, just so you know, we're now the Drunk Goose Club. Honk, honk. So leave me honks in the comments, but we are working on Drunk Goose Club merch. So that will be coming soon. And as a proud member slash whatever head goose, I am just so glad you're here. Oh my God, Jay just called me Mother Goose. Where am I? What is this? I love this place. Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're having some fun. I had such a fun response to the messy that I thought today we'd take a look at some look at me's. That's right, all the time Megan likes to stare at the camera. And usually she's staring at her stupid husband with a goofy grin, but in some of these it's like, look at me. And so I thought we could take a look at some of those. So take a look at everybody around her because they're looking in different directions in a lot of these, but she finds the camera and says, look at me. So let's take a look. You ready? Here we go. On her wedding day, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, look at me. My goofy groom doesn't know where to look, but look at me. Oh, there's the poop emoji hat. Look at me. Oh, there she is walking through a random forest. Look at me. All these mourners here for the queen. Nope, doesn't matter. Look at me. Oh, I'm with a group of people. Oh, no, no. Look at me. Found the photographer. Look at me. Dressed as Kermit playing. Look at me. Or should I say, look at me. Having a dramatic moment, everybody off to the side. No, look at me. My stupid husband's looking at our baby, but I'm going to look at the camera because look at me. Oh, oh, more cameras. Look at me. Ooh, looks like my husband's getting mad at me. Oh, but look at me. Standing next to the queen. Oh, no, no. Look at me. My crayon-eating husband doesn't know where he's at, but look at me. Let's just go ahead and blur that doofus out because look at me. These other people... They're looking at the crowd, but who cares? Look at me. Oh, messy hair. Look at me. Cosplaying a Disney villain. Look at me. Ooh, on a carriage ride with my frisbee hat. Look at me. Rainy night umbrella. Look at me. Trying to pout, but it comes off as duck lips. Look at me. Why do I look like this? I look like a zombie. Look at me. I'm ignoring the people that came out to talk to me so I can stare at the camera. Look at me. Numbnuts doesn't know where to look, but I do. Look at me. Even when I'm mad at Numbnuts, I know where the camera is. Look at me. It's not fair that my sister-in-law is so beautiful. I'm going to try, try to draw attention away, so look at me. I'm just taking a walk by some cinder blocks and caught off guard by this photographer. Look at me. I'm just caked in bronzer for no reason in a white jacket and stupid head. Look at me. It's weird how much I look like Dory here and what the hell am I wearing and why do I have scissors taped to my head? Look at me. Ooh, I found the camera on the other side of my stupid husband. Look at me. 
Everybody else is having a conversation, but I know where to find the camera. Look at me. My husband might be shaking hands with someone, but I can lean around his ass and wave to the camera. Look at me. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, let me try that again. What the hell's going on with my face? I look like Kim Kardashian, kind of. Look at me. My husband always seems pissed, but not me. Not when you have a camera. Look at me. I'm never not going to laugh at this poop hat with the chocolate curl glued to the side of it. Look at me. Windswept, look at me. Side eye, look at me. I want to remind everyone that Time Magazine tried to make them the same height, but look at the real difference. Look at me. Wearing awful clothes, look at me. I'm dressed like a banana, look at me. Remember when I told you I couldn't wear bright colors, look at me. I'm pretending to give a shit about the queen or any of my royal duties, look at me. I gotta push this guy's face out of the camera lens so you can more clearly see mine, look at me. My husband's trying to solve hard math problems by chewing bubble gum, look at me. Getting a bullshit award that doesn't actually mean anything and shouldn't have been given to us because we lied all the way through it. Look at me. I can't leave my hair alone or let go of this ginger's hand because he'll run away. Look at me. No, seriously. See, he's so confused he's waving at trees. Look at me. Sometimes I realize he looks so much like Beaker I have to clap my hands together. Look at me. Finally, my time to shine. Blue still. Look at me. No, Harry, that's a mailbox. Look at me. And finally, look at me. You guys, this has been so silly and so fun. But just take a look at the screen. I want you to see what's going on here because I totally missed it. Obviously, control claw, always control claw. But I just want you to watch the images for a minute. I'm going to spin them around in a circle. And what I mean is watch. So, of course, we are looking at their backs there. Look at the placement of the hand. Backs, full on backs. Look at the placement of the hand. We're going to spin them toward the right side. Look at the placement of the hand. Do you see what she's doing? No matter how they spin, she knows where the camera is. This is her version of look at me with her hands. She always has a control claw. She always knows where the camera is. She's playing look at me with her hands. You see what I mean? If the camera is behind them like this, she knows it. She can control him with her hand, but also play look at me and have the attention on her. And look, when it's in front, she can do the double claw, look at me, attention on me. Look at me, attention on me, see? I spun him completely around, no matter the angle. It's, look at me, her hands follow. It's nuts. Let's take a look at more pictures. I'll show you to you even faster here. Look, see the angle of the camera? She always has to have control claw, especially when the camera's in front, but always knows where it is and, and makes a point of making herself the priority. See, I know where the camera is, control claw. Camera's in front, control claw. Ooh, control claw engagement photos. <gasps> control claw in front of me. Oh, control claw. Look to the side. See? Do you see what I mean? It's always, look at me. I know where the camera is. Look at me. Control claw. Double claw. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, oh, attention on me. Camera off to the side. So am I. Oh, camera in front. Gotta do the control claw. Ooh. Camera to the side. I'm going to position myself to the side. Look at me. Oh, tiny wave. Look at me. Camera to the side. Me to the side. Look at me. Oop, camera in front. Double claw coming back. Camera. Oh, oh, trying to twist myself around to get to that camera. Look at me. Ooh, definitely look at me here. Control claw. Oh my goodness. Double claw. Oh, let me hold back so the camera can fully get me. I think the control claw is, well, to control Harry, but also to make sure he's not in her shot. Like, slow down, Harold. I'm in the camera spot. On stage, look at me. Camera in front, look at me. Oh, camera switching to behind. Look at me this way. Ooh, attention on me. See, it's a win-win for her. It's controlling Harry, but also attention on me. It's almost like um, making herself appear, well, in control, but also 
bigger for the camera or something or more, more of her to be photographed. I'm not sure how to explain it, but I feel it in my bones. That's exactly what's happening. Harry's not sure where to go, so I'm going to lead him with my hand. Look at me. I know the camera's behind me. Look at me. Ooh, off to the side. Don't worry. My hand will go to the side. Look at me. Oh, I know it's behind me. So, so hand directly behind me. Look at me. Ooh, camera to the side. Don't worry. My hand's to the side as well. Look at me. I can lead and be the center of the photograph. Look at me. I can control doofus and control the picture. Look at me. Also, I've pointed out before she does not like it when he looks at other people or talks to other people. So that's her favorite time to hold on and not let go of his hand. It's so weird. Look at me. I know where the camera is. Look at me. Ooh, even here, I'm going to pull back and make it twist to the side so the camera can get me. Look at me. Walking down a hill. Look at me. Standing behind us. Look at me. Nurse Ratchet, got to make sure I'm in the shot. Look at me. I know where the cameraman is. Look at me. And also smug. You guys, look at this. I found something. When she poses, she does a poop pose. I'm not even kidding you. Just take a look at this. I'm telling you, it's more than coincidental. You're going to see it a lot in this video. I was kind of blown away. Poop pose. I was gathering photos and just taking a look because people had asked for her posing photos. And I started to notice a pattern. All of them. <laughs> you guys, she's full of shit. And I didn't realize she poses like this in every photo. Like she's taking one. <laughs> Ew, I'm sorry, but it's true. See, now that you know it, you won't be able to unsee it. It's all of her posing photos like this. I just couldn't stop laughing when I found, I mean, when I figured it out. Take a look colorful photos full of it. Look at my yoga pose full of it. What in the world is this pose full of it? This was before she started abusing bronzer and spray tans full of it. Sure, this is how we all just stand on a normal day full of it. She even has her stupid husband posing like this full of it. Look at his face there, seriously. Full of it. You guys, I didn't even have to doctor this photo. This is just how she's posed. Full of it. Seriously, what am I looking at? What's happening in this picture full of it? <laughs> what kind of throne is this full of it? Probably shouldn't have worn white here full of it. Do you see it in every pose now full of it? Apparently, she really likes this pose full of it. Does it not look like she's sitting on the toilet full of it? Really likes to pose like this near books for some reason full of it. How did nobody stop and think, hey, it looks like she's going to the bathroom in a fancy dress in this picture full of it? Ooh, um, being committed full of it? Still posing like this, still in black and white full of it. Do you see what I mean? Once you notice it, it's all you'll see. She's full of it. Wearing her green carpet full of it? Sure, why wouldn't you wear this outfit and pose like this while on royal duties? Yep, that's a thing that happened full of it. Deep thoughts and obviously full of it. Did anybody else hear that balloon pop full of it? Okay, now you're just gaslighting us full of it. She sure likes to bend down a lot like this. And she's full of it. Since we're focused on <clears throat> that area and those poses, I thought I'd show you the other thing she loves to do in photos. Turn around and show you her rear. Stay classy, Megan. I think I'm going to call these, look at my butt. Wearing a white dress, haven't discovered bronzer yet. Look at my butt. My hair's turning orange, but my skin's not quite there yet. Look at my butt. Wearing denim and shorts on a purple carpet. Look at my butt. Oof, that makeup. <laughs> Look at my butt, Joker. Royal duties are hard. Look at my butt. Yep, that's actually her at a friend's wedding. <laughs> Look at my butt. She really loves to pose by graffiti. Look at my butt. Also loves a zipper that goes all the way down the back of her dress. Look at my butt. See? Told ya. Tell me this photo wasn't staged. Look at my butt. In the rain, look at my butt. Way before the bronzer and spray tan, look at my butt. Not sure what this pose is. <laughs> look at my butt. You know how she was doing all those coat flicks? I'm surprised she didn't do one for her butt here. Wow, she really is an ass. That's right, Maggie Poo, you should be nervous. I was so blinded. I was so naive. I was stuck on the look at me that I'd failed to notice. I've got a pee. 
I am ashamed of myself for not noticing that in every photo she looks like she's got to pee. So let's take a look at this weird tripping over her own feet trend and enjoy some I gotta pee. Do you see what I mean? Holding on to herself like a toddler. I gotta pee. But also, look at me. What? This is just how I stand. I gotta pee. This is before I discovered bronzer. I gotta pee. Also, why are my foundation garments always wrong? I gotta pee. I'm trying to make myself look taller. I guess I gotta pee. Bonded shoes. I gotta pee. Thrown a fit at a photo shoot. I gotta pee. What? This is just how I stand. I gotta pee. Whoa, definitely no bronzer here. I gotta pee. Always picks the worst outfits. I gotta pee. Wow, yeah, this is really not a weird way to stand. I gotta pee. I'm being dramatic in black and white. I gotta pee. Orange hair, I gotta pee. It looks like her feet got pot put on wrong. I gotta pee. Being dramatic, I gotta pee. Up close, I gotta pee. What is this outfit? What is it pointing at? I gotta pee. Same outfit, don't understand it, still no bronzer, what's happening? I gotta pee. This one looks like she's on a cruise ship and she's gonna fall over, but she's gotta pee. Damn, she's more pale than her dress is there, gotta pee. Seriously though, this is a weird outfit and an even weirder pose, she's gotta pee. Wearing a cape again, gotta pee. Decided to put the jacket on, gotta pee. Ooh, kind of a combo, look at me, and gotta pee. No, seriously, what's happening? Are her feet put on the wrong way? Gotta pee. Posing with someone? Gotta pee. She really likes square dresses and boat neck stuff. Gotta pee. Sure. Totally normal way to stand for a picture? Gotta pee. Giving herself an examination? Gotta pee? <laughs> what's happening? Almost a gotta pee stance, but the photographer clicked too early. So just weird. Oh, there's the gotta pee and my bra. I put back on my sunglasses, gotta pee. Standing like this won't make my outfit any less hideous, gotta pee. A different picture in the red dress, still gotta pee. Really likes to stand like this, surprised she hasn't fallen over, gotta pee. Hadn't discovered spray tan yet, gotta pee. All right, and I have to end us on this one because this one haunts my nightmares. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, not exactly the gotta pee stance, but I mean, tell me you gotta pee without telling me you gotta pee. What is this? What is this pose? Found a new pattern. Well, I can't even take credit. I got the best comments saying you've got to see how she poses for her jewelry and I haven't noticed it, but now it's all I see. So we're gonna take a look at some of her, look at me jewelry edition. Ooh, wait till you see this. It's going to be lots of fun. Now, this is normally where I'd start posting pictures, but there's something I want to talk about first in regards to jewelry. A lot of it ties back into Diana. There were a couple pieces that she got from Diana, aka from Harry, that were Diana's, and there's a lot of attention drawn to those pieces. Now, I couldn't talk about that without first discussing the watch. I get a lot of comments on the watch, so I just want to clarify something real quick before we dive in because it's interesting. Whenever I talk about the watch, what I'm talking about is Diana's Cartier watch. And I always get comments saying, no, Jen, she bought one for herself. Well, I can clarify this because it is confusing. You're right and I'm right. We're both right. Okay. When she was working on suits, <laughs> um, it was the third season. The story goes that the third season got picked up and she was so excited that she bought herself a Cartier watch. Now, I want to point out something, just you know, a little food for thought. Remember, I didn't Google the Royals. I wouldn't do, I didn't know anything about them. She just so happened to buy herself this Cartier tank watch. Why is that important? Because Diana had this Cartier tank watch. You can see it here in the picture. So, the one she bought herself, the stupid watch 
that she engraved to MM from MM is this Cartier two-tone watch right here. So when you see the silver one with some gold flecks in the younger days, like these pictures here, that is her watch she bought herself. When you see the gold one, that is the one that was given to her that was Diana's Cartier watch. So again, I get a lot of comments saying, no, that's not Diana's or no, that's the one she bought herself. There are two. They are identical. You just have to look at what the tone is. So the one on the left, Diana's, the one on the run right is the one that she bought herself. Isn't that creepy? I didn't Google the Royals. I didn't know anything about him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Buddy Boiler, sure you didn't. Sure, Jan. Okay, so now that we're on the same page about that, let's take a look at the look at me. Um, and when we talk about the watch, I'll be saying, watch me. So you can tell she does poses to show off jewelry. I didn't realize it. Again, some fabulous people pointed out in my comments, and now it's all I see. So this is when she bought herself the MM Silver Cartier tank watch. Look at these poses. What? That's just how you pose, right? And you might excuse one and say, she's playing with her hair. But guys, come on. They're like this. It's like, oh, look at me. She's doing that cross-legged, I gotta pee here. But also, look at my expensive watch. 2MM from MM. Look at me. Standing like I gotta pee again. 2MM from MM. So this pose seems to be before she discovered bronzer um, and spray tans with an inch of her life. I can't tell on this one. It doesn't look like the Cartier watch. It looks like she's just showing off a watch here. Look at me. Watch me. So, of course, this is before she had met Has No Balls and has not had the Diana watch yet. So she's showing off her watch to MM from MM. Watch me. P.S. Which face is this? Is it just me or does she look totally different in these photos? Okay, weird. Okay, to further show how she poses with jewelry, look at this. I believe this is when she had the TIG. This is when she was dating Hazmat, and you can see they are wearing matching bracelets. This is her trying to get discovered of who she's dating without actually saying it. She's posing like this. Look there. Definitely with the jewelry tucked on the outside so it could clearly be seen. Look at me. Look at my jewelry. I have in a secret relationship that I sure hope you figure out who it is. So now we're going to get into the Hank and Skank, the Harold and Fraud days. Let's take a look at some look at me moments with the jewelry because this is where the hits just keep on coming. Get ready for this. So this is their engagement shoot, obviously. And so I don't even fault her for looking at the ring. We've all done it, right? It's part of the engagement shoot, whatever. They're looking at the ring, who cares? Okay, same thing. I'll kind of give her a pass here. It's her wedding day. You're gonna show off the ring. It's part of it, I get it, but still. Look at me, all eyes on me. But leading up to the wedding, when they were engaged, there are so many pictures like this. Look at my ring, do you know who I am? Look at me, look at my ring. I always know where the camera is, so I gotta show off my ring. Look at me. This is the bump before the bump. Look at my ring. You know how she always does the, look at my bump, look at my bump, bump, bump. You know, moving jackets, it's moving hands. Look at my ring. So someone's so camera aware, you're telling me she doesn't know exactly where that camera is. She does. Look at my ring. Ooh, look, there's a wedding band there now too. Look at, look at me. I want to make sure that this is on camera. This is just how I pose. Look at me. Look at my ring. I just want to make sure you know I'm engaged. Look at my ring. It is funny. It's like the one time she would allow her face not to be in a shot. It's to make sure that that ring is shown. Gotta make sure you know Diana's diamonds are in the shot. Look at me. Oh, did you know I'm engaged to Diana's son? Look at me. I'm trying to be like Diana, but it'll never happen. Look at me. I have important thoughts. Just look at me. Here's my ring. Look at me. I'm acting like a six-year-old at a garden party. Look at me. What? This is just how I stand and move. It's not to draw comparisons to Diana at all. Oh, but did you know some of the diamonds in my ring came from Diana? Look at me. All right, now we're going to get into some earring work because she does earring poses, I noticed too, like this one. You might say, Jen, she's caught off guard. 
No, she's not. She's pointing to them. She got these butterflies from Diana's collection, and she makes sure to show them off when she wears them by pointing at them or adjusting her hair around them. If I wear her earrings, people will love me like they love Diana, right? That's how that works? Ring and earrings look at me. I hope let's show off these earrings and ring look at me. And here are the blood diamond earrings that are very controversial that she wore twice and then tried to get her people to lie about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my revenge coverage because we go into it. Yep, those are those earrings. Okay, now I want to get into just some general look at me's jewelry edition because now you can tell in some of these, you know, in all of these poses, she's trying to show off mostly the watch. Uh, the Cartier love bracelet that Harry had given her, the ring, things like that. Just take a look at the poses and tell me that it's not meant to draw attention to her jewelry. Here we go. What? This is just how I stand. Look at me. Look at my jewelry. Oh, yeah. Again, I know where the camera is, so I'm going to angle it so you can see all my jewelry. Look at me. Cosplaying as a Kardashian slash Cardi B. Look at my jewels. Look at me. Oh, got to get this arm up so that way my jewelry can be in the picture. Look at me. Did you get my bracelet and ring in the shot? Okay, look at me. I'm wearing Diana's tennis bracelet. Look at me. Oh, it's a bracelet in the shot. Okay, perfect. Look at me. Oh, this is just a totally normal way to stand when you're having your photo taken. Look at me. Oh, here's the rumpled up flamingo outfit. Let's make sure you can see my jewelry. Look at me. What, you thought that was a candid photo? Look at this one. Explain this pose. Look at my jewelry. Look at me pretending to be relaxed, but actually, look at my jewelry. Okay, this was at the Invictus Games when she wore a dreadfully untailored white suit. Now look at this. She's got to make sure the Diana watch, watch me, is poking out from the long sleeves. So you might say, okay, that's just one pose there. But look, look at the backgrounds. They're changing. These are different photos. Is the Diana watch showing? Be sure to get a photo. Look at me. My hideously oversized Joker outfit might hide the Diana watch. Let me just get that out real quick. Look at me. Watch me. What? This is just how I stand. So you'll look at my jewelry. Even when I'm ticked off during a Zoom call and throwing a hissy fit in the background, look at my jewelry. Posing for an awkward magazine, look at my jewelry. Posing for an even more awkward magazine, look at my jewelry. It's important that I get my watch out underneath these long sleeves so you can see that I'm wearing Diana's watch, look at me. It's important to me that you can see my watch and jewelry while posing with servicemen and women, look at me. Let's make sure I turn the jewels toward camera. Look at me. Are you getting all the bracelets? Here they are. Look at me. Oh, here's my ring too. Look at me. Oh, more bracelets. Look at me. Weird fake hairstyle. Look at me, jewelry. Being pensive on a Zoom call. Look at me. You guys, look at this face. Wasn't she an actress? What is this face? <laughs> it's so good. Look at my face, but also look at my jewelry. One of the worst outfits I've ever seen on any human being ever in New York. Again, 80-something degrees during this trip. Look at my jewelry. I gotta get my arm out from under this big stupid wool coat for no reason. Look at my jewelry. I'm going to hold on to doofus, but also show off my jewelry. Look at me. It's important to me to hold my arm all weird like this, so that way I can show you my jewelry. Look at me. I have to make sure that my name is in the same sentence as Diana's name. Look at me. Look at my jewelry. I'm so surprised. I called the paparazzi on myself. Oh my goodness. I have no choice but to show off my jewelry. Look at me. It's also important to me to dress like this and to wear all my jewelry when I go on a hike. And a paparazzi just happens <laughs> to find me. Look at me. It's also important to me that I have my photo made while doing quote-unquote charity work while showing off my jewelry. What? This is just how you hold things in pictures. It's not to show off the ridiculously expensive jewelry I'm wearing. Look at me. She's on a walk in Canada, right? She had no idea. I can't even get through that without laughing. She had no idea that the paparazzi would be there, you guys. This is a normal reaction when... Holding a baby, a doll, whatever you want to call it, 
and taking a walk with your dogs, somebody's taking pictures of you, this is your reaction, right? It doesn't give away that you call the paparazzi on yourself. Mm-hmm. Chase me. Now, these are some of my personal favorites. This is when she was going through her, what I like to call, Olsen twins look. It's my apologies to the Olsen twins. Uh... This was when she went to England and Gina Nelthorpe Crown, I hope I'm saying that right, had gone into this. She went to England and openly talked about looking for a rich Englishman. So (laughs) during this time, it has come out that, again, she called the paparazzi on herself. There are many articles about it. You can look into it. Uh, But even if you didn't read the article Can't you tell by these poses? She just happens to walk up on a photographer who is taking pictures of her and she's making these faces. I find it very funny. This is before she would smile like a Cheshire cat for the for the photographers. Side note, I do remember reading, I believe it was in the book Revenge, that she had arranged this through that um, publicist that she had that she eventually ghosted. And when the publicist arranged it, the photographer's had no idea who she was, but they were paid to be there to take the photo so she could turn up like this. <laughs> chase me. Look, see, it's chase me. I'm just walking through England. She's just wearing sunglasses and in all black. So how would a photographer ever know or care who she was? You know what I mean? It could be, I pick somebody, Jennifer Aniston walking down the street. If you're wearing all black and, and, and sunglasses, I'm thinking you're probably not going to be noticed. But this photographer happened to know exactly where, she, where and who she was. Hmm. I'm at a farmer's market. Again, they know exactly who and where I am. What a coincidence. Chase me. Seriously, you guys, I cannot with these photos. Just walking around, looking all messy in a farmer's market, pretending like she had no idea why a paparazzi would be there and still smiling for the camera. When she was dating Harry, this seemed to be a move she liked to do as well. Here she is at the airport having her photo taken by a paparazzi who happened to know where to be to get that shot. Weird, right? Chase me. While working in Canada, same thing. Really liked to call the paparazzi and then would smile at them like this (laughs) and act surprised like, oh my God, what are they doing here? It's so weird. There are tons of articles like this by the mirror that, that show that she actually did have a normal life. Even though, shocker, she claimed completely different and said she couldn't go out. She couldn't do anything. Poor thing. It's almost like she knew that this would trigger Harry into moving faster if she claimed that the paparazzi were chasing her. Chase me. I'm super important. Photograph me. Isn't it cool how paparazzi just hang out in the snow and <laughs> wait for people to show up <laughs> so they, they can photograph them like that? Oh, guys, she's getting into another car chase. Oh, no, oh, no, near catastrophic. You guys, look at the pose. Chase me. Again, paparazzi, really? Okay, I want to spend about 45 minutes talking to you guys about this one because this has come up quite a bit in my research. Look at all those people that are surrounding her, you guys. She couldn't live a normal life. This is in Canada. This is before she was publicly dating Harry. And (laughs) she was so desperate for the press to find out about it that she would call the paparazzi on herself, allegedly. And coincidentally, happened to be wearing H&M necklaces. Huh. Doesn't want people to find out, but advertising it around her neck. Oh, but it gets better. I knew about the necklaces. Didn't know about this. It gets weirder. So apparently during the same time around when she was dating Harry living in uh, Canada, she was wearing a ring that had a big H on it as well. So again, it was... It's also been discussed how in the TIG she would drop these big hints too, like had a lovely time in London, you know, and and seeing a special guy, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. 
wearing those uh, matching bracelets with him, things like that, just praying that the press would report on who she was dating so that way she could speed things up and say the press was hounding her, her plan all along. But back to these flower photos, because they really do make me laugh. Tell me you set up a photo op without telling me you set up a photo op, right? One paparazzi here taking your photos while you're smiling and picking up flowers. I just wondered, was it, oh, who sent her flowers? Let's talk about that. Or was it, Dum Dum Prince would see this and think somebody else sent her flowers and, and keep him interested. I'm just trying to figure out what game they were both playing at this point. Chase me and my yoga mat. I'm now deciding I'm not happy about the paparazzi that I called on myself. This picture I found while putting this together and I couldn't stop laughing. I've discussed the wide stance before. Here we are again. What am I looking at? What is this picture? Chase me. I wear my sunglasses at night. Chase me. Hunchback of Montecito. Her coat looks like it's on backwards. Chase me. Oh, some more of my faves, you guys. The paparazzi knew where she'd be having lunch. So here we are, not at all posed, right? Oh, chase me. Here I am in a stupid, expensive outfit showing off my jewelry. Chase me. Oh, it's getting even better. Totally normal way to pose, right? You go for a hike, you know, when those paparazzi know where you're going to be hiking. (laughs) And you're dressed like this, acting like this, but, you know, chase me. The paparazzi are photographing me. (laughs) I cannot. I cannot with this. Again, think she's the smartest in the room. No water bottle, no actual evidence of hiking except for, there's a paparazzi. I just happen to know where he's going to be, and I'm smiling at him. Chase me. Now, I've done the look at me pictures where the photographer is out in the open, and she always knows where he or she is and will make eye contact with the camera. But I had to include these in this. Yeah, they're not paparazzi. They're, you know, obviously her wedding photographer. But... Oh my God, do these haunt you to your soul like they do me? Because I can't get these images out of my head. It's the most look at me thing I've ever seen. (laughs) Of course, a bride is going to smile at the camera on her wedding day. I don't fault her for that, but it's just, I mean, you feel it too, right? This is insane looking. (laughs) This is frightening. This scares me. Somebody hold me. And her ridiculous over-the-top extravagant baby shower that the paparazzi happened to know about because, you know, they were tipped off and given a place to stand, you know. (laughs) Yeah, that happened. Chase me. Okay, let's talk about the car chase that wasn't. I have talked about this at length, so you can definitely go find my videos on the details that make no sense. But right now I want to focus on the chase me of it all because I suspect that's the reason that Harold and Fraud, Hank and Skank are demanding images uh, from things like Backgrid and stuff is because she can't stop smiling in the photos. (laughs) She loves it. Chase me. Dory has fallen asleep. She's like smiling like a Cheshire cat from ear to ear and Harry's doing whatever the hell Harry's doing. I called them sleepy, smirky, and scowly before and I think it still fits because look at this. She, again, chase me. Tell me she didn't come up with this idea. You, she was, she's so proud of herself for this idea. I think it wasn't until the backlash hit that she probably... I don't know. I don't know if she has that much self-awareness if she realized it was a bad idea. But at the time, she thought it was the best best thing she thought of. Chase me. The camera's here. It's time for me to laugh at nothing. Look at me. Nobody else is smiling anywhere around me here. But look at me. Laughing hysterically in the center of the stage. You guys, I have a whole video on this one. It's under so much cringe. Go watch it. Look at me. I know where the camera is. I'm going to pretend like he's saying the funniest thing I've ever heard. Look at me. I'm aware of where the camera is. And so this is my moment to act like I have a sense of humor. Look at me laughing hysterically. And then beep boop right back to whatever this robot look is. Back to this photo shoot. Look at me if I 
squish my eyes real tight, then maybe they'll think I'm genuinely laughing. I'm not. Look at me. Maybe if I cover my mouth and I wear messy hair, <laughs> they won't notice that I'm not genuinely laughing. <laughs> Look at me. Am I genuinely laughing? Probably not, but I sure know where the camera is, so look at me. Maybe if I point to myself while pretending to laugh, I'll fool everybody into looking at me. When I can't actually get a laugh to happen, I make this face right here to try to trick people into thinking I'm laughing along with them. Look at me. Remember when I mock curtsied and disrespected the queen? Yeah, I'm hysterical. Look at me. Maybe if I hold my hand near my mouth, people will believe that I'm genuinely laughing and smiling, but probably not. Look at me. You guys, <laughs> these jeans are the funniest jeans I've ever tried to put on. I can't put them on or take them off. Look at me. So I'll flip my hair to the side and try again because pants are hard, but it's really funny apparently. Look at me. Ooh, back to the covered smile again. Maybe if I do this enough, they'll believe it. Look at me. My hair might be messy, but I know where the camera is, so I'll lean toward it and pretend like I'm laughing while showing off my ring. You know, my go-to move. Look at me. I'm about to get kicked out of a garden party, so I should probably pretend like I'm laughing and covering my mouth again. Look at me. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. What am I laughing at? I'm not really sure, but people think I'm really funny if I make this face. Do you want to know how to look condescending and like you're trying to laugh all at the same time? Well, just look at me. Oh no, I'm wrong. My apologies. This is the condescending laugh face. The hand didn't really work, so I'm going to try scrunching up my nose. Look at me. It's so funny I'm laughing, but I forgot to tell my eyes that it's funny. Oh no, the camera's pointed at me and Dum Dum's looking in the wrong direction. You better look at me and laugh. Playing with my hair, look at me. You know how I know something's really funny? I clap my hands together and make this face, look at me. You know what's so funny here? All the peasants that paid for tickets to the tennis match and I had to clear out a whole section so the cameras could look at me. I don't really like that the question's not directed at me, so I'm going to make this face and pretend like I think it's hilarious. This is my politician <laughs> smile, where it's not actually genuine or real, but I'm going to use this photo in my campaign. Look at me. I'm sorry. I will never not think this is funny. This picture. <laughs> She's like, look at me. I have a really good sense of humor while I hike. <laughs> You know, I didn't call the paparazzi on myself. This is how I stand and smile on my neckerchief. Look at me. <laughs> right, we're taking a look at all the smug looks. So get ready to feel very superior. And let's get very smug. White shirt smug. All eyes and attention on me smug. Seriously, still one of my favorites. Wicked witch smug. And your little dog too smug. Why are there big white buttons on a black turtleneck? Smug. Getting into my Range Rover? Smug. I'm too bored to be here? Smug. Why am I wearing a hospital gown? Smug. Trying to convince everybody I'm the victim? Smug. Side eye? Smug. Still trying to convince everybody I'm a victim? Smug. Ooh, also bird poop dress? Smug. Messy? Smug. I'm upset I didn't get the emerald tiara, so I'll wear an emerald dress, smug. I like to randomly remind you all I'm married, smug. See, I was even smug on my wedding day, smug. Frisbee hat, smug. Calling the paparazzi on myself and still can't get my outfit right. What's going on here, smug? Kermit the smug. It's not easy being smug. I'm wearing the ceiling fan on my hat, smug. Pretending not to notice the photographer while noticing the photographer smug. Gotta play with my hair smug. Making eye contact around this doofus smug. Side profile smug. Seriously, could I be more jealous of my sister-in-law smug? Worst magazine cover smug. Oh god, no, it got worse smug. 
The peasants will never understand what I'm talking about. Word salad smug. Staring off into the distance smug. Enjoying my private yacht while I preach to others about the importance of making decisions that affect the environment smug. Forgot that I was pretending to cry to get sympathy smug. Again, forgot that I was crying and managed to look smug smug. Being a real pain in the ass at public events smug. Mad that some lady is talking to doofus smug. Stoic smug. Trying to pretend like I'm something because of my proximity to excellence smug. Big dumb hat smug. Gazing at the peasants smug. Smell the wall behind me smug. Pretending to gaze at doofus smug. Introduction to the public smug. What's going on with my facial expression here smug? Funeral smug. Weird towel picture smug. Pursed lips kind of pissed and smug. Side eye smug. More side eye smug. When she's not looking smug or pissed, then we get the blank stare. Let's take a look at some blank stare. Ooh, windy hair blank stare. Gallery blank stare. This picture haunts me to my soul blank stare. Seriously, what's she looking at? Blank stare. Ooh, she's looking mad. Blank stare. Pretending to smile, but it doesn't reach my eyes. Blank stare. And my personal all-time favorite. Blank stare. <laughs> Seriously, what's happening here? Blank stare. I can play this game too, and outsmart all journalists. Smug. I only eat the fanciest premium Crayola crayons out of the 120 count box. Smug. My favorite and most intellectual instrument is mayonnaise. Oh my god, I did not know he was going to say that. I cannot stop laughing. My favorite instrument is mayonnaise smug. Hmm. I had so many requests for a wah compilation. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so you know what? I love it. Let's do that. Let's take a look at the Prince of Wah. Now, I do want to point out that I have a video that's one of my favorites that's criminally underviewed, but it shows him happy with William and Catherine and then how it all turned south when he met the sea witch. So definitely check that out. But this is my wah, not my, this is a wah compilation. And again, by popular request, you guys have requested that uh, Prince Harry narrate this one. So Harry, why don't you first tell us about your channel and then uh, tell us what's going on in these photos. Hello, this is Prince Harry. I spend a lot of time on YouTube and Twitch looking at Dr. Bad Vibes. It's my favorite channel. He plays games and he's the most handsome man in the universe. And I heard his todger is quite large. Oh, God. <laughs> so these, these videos, I mean, photos are of my struggles that no one can possibly understand what I've been through. My servant didn't bring a large enough umbrella. Where? King Pa said I had to go do stuff. Where? I was told I could be anything, so I wanted to be Dracula. They wouldn't let me. Where? I tried to create a secret garden, but then they told me we can't grow weed. Where? I have a blue house with a blue window. Blue is the color of all that I wear. Blue are the streets, and all the trees are too. I have a girlfriend, and she is so blue. But now she's the Duchess, and even more blue. Where? I'm giving a speech about how I got shafted on the breakfast sausage. I didn't get the larger pieces, and nobody seemed to care. Where? I was on Oprah, and I did not get a free car. Nor did Megan. No free car. Where? It didn't just end with the breakfast sausage. William still got the front seat despite me beating him at scissor paper rock. Where? Some peasant child stole my popcorn and ate it. It was my popcorn. I wanted the popcorn. Where? I was making fun of William about losing his hair. Well, I got to keep mine, but then I realized it doesn't matter because he gets to cover his bald head with the crown. Where? They said I had to go to rehab because I, uh, I hurt my nose. Where? I don't understand why everyone's so mad at me because I, just because I wrote a book about my oscillating cream todger. Where? Uh, Harry angry. Where? Prince Willie don't understand Harry. Where? I'm trying to show my impersonation of a blue whale. <laughs> But it just made the Duchess sad. Wah. Fist bump to my face. Wah. Therapy? Oh my. Wah. Oh, my wanta. I'm Elmer Fudd with a stomach problem. 
I'm looking at Oprah. I just checked under my chair. Still no free car. Wah. I sharted. Wah. <laughs> Would you be interested in hearing some speech about timeshares? Wah. I can only count to five. Wah. <laughs> I'm a cheeky boy. <laughs> Wah. I just wanted to smell the delicious glue, but now my hands are glued together. Wah. Oh, uh, what have I done? Wah. <laughs> Will this green screen truly give me the powers of flight? Oh, I won't. Where? I don't think I fully comprehend the rules of sports ball. Where? I'll show them my blue still. Where? The plot of the Super Mario Brothers movie is too complicated. Where? Who ate all my crayons? I was saving those. Where? My psychic powers have yet to manifest. Where? A gremlin is sabotaging my royal carriage. Where? She won't tell me what to think right now. Where? No one came to my birthday party, except Bobo the Clown. Where? No one showed up to my TED talk. Where? Why does Prince Willie get to walk into the room first? I want to walk first. Just let me spit up my gum. Where? I'm starting to think people may not like us. Where? People are calling me cross-eyed beaker. Me, 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 where, 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 where? Something suddenly caused me to go blind. Where? I don't know why some people insist on calling me Templeton. Hey Charlotte, got any apple cores? Where? Oversaturated where? Where am I? Where? If you really want to play claw machine, just go to an arcade and put a dollar into the actual claw machine. You may even get a prize. Where? I smell a fart. Coincidentally right after I farted. Where? I see a UFO. Where? I can't wait to tell everyone my funny joke. Where? They didn't laugh at my joke. Where? What's with the Kermit cape? It's gonna really make people call me Beaker. Where? She stole my polo trophy. Where? We are so happy. Where? That was my last delicious crown. Where? Oh no, crown! <laughs> Where? We literally flew our private jet to Cloud Nine, and I'm still not happy. Where? I toured Australia, but yet nobody offered me a Vegemite sandwich. Where? She took me to see the Sacramento Kings, and I thought it was a royal engagement. Where? Not long after, I realized the Fresh Prince of Bel Air is also not royalty. Where? And then he slapped me while his wife banged his son's friend. <laughs> Where? Let's take a look at how Megan does a listen to me. I want to tell you, I am proud. I am my being here, my work. When I was, I, my notion. See, I, I remember. I went, I, I, I should, so off I went. I wrote a letter. I wanted to cover all my base. I, I, that I realized the magnitude of my, so I did. I was just, the magnitude of my action. I had created. <laughs> I, when I first born to me, that was me being able to have the opportunity. I do, I tried on my visit time. I realized, I might went. I went home and I think I'm going to be I wore when I nailed. My, and got my dream job and I don't need that because I'm where I want to be I'm able to share that and so when I thought about it, I said or that I thought of immediately I thought that I become introduced to once I that for me resonates which I've worn quite a bit since I've been here that I wanted to I, I saw that I was so touched I think it would be my thing that I'm really connected to so that I wore this is the kind of work that I've been doing to me and then I will so I think I just want I think it's I think I want I found why I'm really touched that I found out I read and I will hand you guys, that was just two of her speeches that I cut up there to show you how much she makes it about herself. She talked for so long about herself, stories about herself, uh, the difference that she has made uh, from that stupid soap commercial. <laughs> she, It's that same story over and over as we know, but it's the listen to me. I, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> my 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 it's just so much of that it really is wild to see it's like a compulsion at this point she can't not make it about herself but again I guess that lends back to the narcissism that we all discuss but it's me 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 anyway continuing on let's take a listen to some of her favorite buzzwords see if you can spot a pattern here so there are compilations online, but I actually made these myself. I sat down and made myself listen to some of her speeches, and I just kept putting my head in my hands while I was listening. But just take a listen, see if you can spot some buzzwords. Your community. With this community. Community. The community. Community. It's the community. The community. That under this community. I am a woman. As women. For the women. 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 As women. As women. The women. As women. The next wave of women. Woman. Diversity. Was to advocate. Advocacy. Advocate. Advocate to injustice. What is just. Of service. Because I know diversity. Core values. And equality. 
Um, yeah, that was just a couple of her speeches. Again, if you continue on, I just couldn't subject myself to any more of Megan. I feel like I was losing my mind making this video. But you will hear that same, those same buzzwords, community, women, diversity, advocate, and justice, her favorite words. <laughs> but she has no actual plans of, you know, how to solve problems or what the actual problems are. Just more buzzwords, more nonsense, more word salad, if you will. Which brings me to, I'm so sorry to do this to you. I'm going to play you some of the biggest word salad moments that I could find. Again, there are compilations online. They probably do this better than me, but I just chopped these up myself because I just want you to hear in these little bits and pieces and see if you can make sense out of any of this because I don't even believe that she can at this point. You know, repetition is recognition, as they say. And the narrative on repeat that surrounded me allowed me to recognize those who felt unheard, to stand up to injustice, and to be not afraid of saying what you know is true, and what is just, and what is right. So whether your inspiration comes from daily acts of service, in kindness, in advocacy, in grace, and in fairness, that those become the very things that are recognized by the next wave of women, both young and old, who will also choose this moment to join the movement. I'm sorry, can anybody make sense out of any of that or tell me what any of that means? <laughs> I know what each individual word means, but when you smash them together like that, they really do lose all meaning. Their values and skills, all the skills that they've learned to rebuild the world around them. Now, many of you have already spent years embodying and yes, even enacting the change you'd like to see in the world. Yet the opportunity that lies ahead for you is the same one that those graduates and millions of young women around the world have as well. Say what now? <laughs> Anyone want to make a drinking game out every time she says women and world? No? Okay, I'd be blackout too. Um, yeah, more nonsense there. Also, you guys brought it to my attention and I could clearly hear it there. She's starting to get the Elizabeth Holmes way of speaking. <laughs> Thernos or whatever. <laughs> one drop of blood. <laughs> Oh, you guys, she's she's doing that thing where she's deepening her voice so she'll be taken more seriously and you may not notice that she's not actually saying anything or meaning anything or has any substance to anything she's saying. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel like I'm losing my mind with this one. It's been a lot. Going through these speeches, it's a lot. It took me a long time of listening to try to make sense out of any of it. All I could gather is she's just showing us her narcissism. She's taking what buzzwords she thinks will get her attention, applause, all the all the things, right, that she's craving and just, again, throwing them together because she thinks everybody wants to hear everything she has to say and everything she says is the most important thing ever. Okay, I want to play you one more speech. And I will warn you, this one's the audio's rough. So you just got to kind of bear with me here because it's in and out. It sucks. But <laughs> I don't think it hurts the speech any because the speech sucks too. Just take a listen just to one little snippet about how much she makes it about herself. Here we go. I had such a deep and long-standing respect and admiration for. And I was invited to pull up a seat at the table. I was so overwhelmed by this experience. I think, I think I even saved my little paper place card that said my name on it. Um, just proof, proof that I was there and proof that I belonged. Because the truth was, I wasn't sure that I belonged. I was so nervous. Oh, I doubted myself and I wondered, I wondered if I was good enough to even be there. If what I was doing in the world, albeit important and meaningful as far as I saw it, was it deserving to have a seat at this table? Ooh, I'm choking on all the bullshit there. Have you ever seen anybody with a bigger inflated sense of self or more self-importance than this monster that was speaking? I understand as a speaker, you need to relate back to your audience, but she's lost the plot completely. Oh my goodness. Did you guys make it all the way to the end? You have to let me know in the comments if you're still here because I want to thank you because 
That's a lot of Megan and Harry to take in all at once, but but it really does help the channel. I appreciate that. And listen, if you want to see more compilations, you let me know. I welcome it. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I actually ended up rewatching these. And <laughs> is it embarrassing to say I was laughing too? It's just still, it just strikes me funny. I don't know. <laughs> Look at me. I think I'm just laughing at the ridiculousness of it that that a grown woman poses like this. I mean, like a six-year-old. At least six-year-olds are like super cute and sweet. We, can, I don't know what's going on here. I've said it before. She's like an alien invaded her body and doesn't know how to be human. So we get like shots like this. I don't understand. <laughs> Anyway, guys, as always, I can't thank you enough for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. Uh, thanks for everything, and I hope you have the best day. Bye-bye.